So given the fact that regorafenib is, in, is a new tool that we have uh, for usage in, in second line treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma post sorafenib progression, uh, my advice would be to, to monitor patients uh, carefully, especially during the first four to six weeks. Uh, as we know, the, the rate of adverse events seem to be highest in the first four to six weeks with these targeted therapies, whether sorafenib or regorafenib. Uh, I do believe that it would be reasonable to start at the full dose and do careful monitoring and do aggressive patient education in regards to the potential adverse events. Um, and uh, I believe that the monitoring should focus on, on symptoms related to fatigue, anorexia, diarrhea, um, and uh, hypophosphatemia. Uh, and then again, liver function should be monitored, but, but there were no major flags with the, use, with the usage of regorafenib. As far as monitoring response, again, the objective response rate tends to be relatively low with these targeted therapies. Uh, as, as I said earlier, around 6 to 7 percent. Uh, but uh, doing imaging studies at regular intervals of around 6 to 8 weeks would be certainly reasonable. Uh, in order to discontinue therapy upon real progression, in order not to, to uh, uh, expose the patient to unnecessary toxicity. Uh, so there's, there's also a question as to whether the tolerability of regorafenib in HCC is similar to the tolerability of regorafenib in colorectal cancer. And, and uh, this is a difficult answer because we will be doing cross-trial comparisons in different patient populations. But nonetheless, there are some differences that are not worthy of mention. The patients with colorectal cancers t tend to have prior therapy with multiple lines of cytotoxic chemotherapy. So they, they have a, a different prior therapy course, uh, and they, they tend to be more heavily pretreated and potentially have a poorer performance status by the time they use uh, uh, regorafenib. Um, and uh, again, we, without getting into the uh, details of the adverse event comparisons, uh, the resource trial seems to indicate that patients with HCC t tended to tolerate regorafenib relatively well including not having compromise of their liver function and uh, including reasonable rates of, of grade 3 and 4 uh, adverse events such as fatigue, diarrhea, uh, and, and no unique adverse events that were not seen in other patient populations with regorafenib.